I really needed to use my new stand mixer, so I'm making pizza. There's one packet of yeast, three quarter cups of warm water, half a tablespoon of sugar in here, and that just sits for a little bit and then it gets all frothy like that. You see that? It took five minutes, seven minutes, I don't know. But that's how you know that your yeast is good. It's called proofing. And if you had some old yeast and we tried to do this, you won't get this result. And then you know you need to throw that away and buy some fresh yeast. Yeast is a living thing. And it doesn't live forever. Here we have two cups of sifted flour. This is three quarters of a tablespoon. I'm sorry. This is three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and a half a tablespoon of sugar. And that's all you need to do. However, you can also add, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a generous one, because it could be a teaspoon. Garlic powder, same amount, generous quarter teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon of oregano. But all I have is the quarter measure. And I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, a heaping one, because you could put a teaspoon in there. None of these last few things are necessary. These dry ingredients, they just need to be whisked a little bit. Everything's going to get mixed so good in this stand mixer. Because this stand mixer is new, all these accessories have to be washed. All the attachments in this thing right here, they have stuff on them from the manufacturing process. This is the no stick dough hook. And we're gonna put this in real slow. A little bit at a time. You can even stop and throw some in. And that's going to turn into a beautiful dough. goes the rest of it. And now I'm just going to turn it on and let it go for a while. And we'll come back and see what happens. And it looks really good. Comes right off of that dough hook. Let's see what we have here. Okay, that's still a little bit wet. And so I kept the flour here handy. It takes very little to change things here. Uh, it's probably a quarter of a cup or less. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I like the way the dough is not sticking to my hands too bad. So we'll spread this out here a little bit. Get our dough out. And there it goes. It's sticking to my fingers and I don't like that. But that's part of the process. And this should be the perfect am amount of dough to make one nice size home pizza. I probably could have added a little bit more flour while it was in the mixer. Guess what? I'm going to do it now. Man, that's working really good. There comes a point where it's tacky, but it's not just adhering to your hands. Now, this feels really good. The inside 
is not sticking. The outside is not sticking. When you use the stand mixer, you really don't need to knead your dough, or you need only knead it for a moment. want to get to where you can you want to be able to make a nice ball and you want it to be a bouncy ball and I'll show you what I mean by that the kneading creates the gluten protein and that doesn't happen until you do this. It's not automatic. It's a product of the kneading. I'm only gonna do this for about two minutes. As opposed to the five, 10 or 15 minutes you might do it if you had done this all by hand. All right, let's look at this now. I'm gonna be able to make a nice ball I did. Does it bounce back? It bounces back. That's what I meant by a bouncy ball. I'd use two hands, but this isn't a very big batch. It easily forms into a nice ball. And when you push it in like that, it bounces right back. That is perfect. Now, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of oil. And almost any vegetable oil will do. This is an avocado blend, avocado and extra virgin olive oil. And I'm using it because it's cheap. We're gonna spread that around in there a bit. And we're gonna put our oven at 120 degrees. Just to warm it up. We're gonna put this in there to rise. I want oil on all sides of my little ball here. And we're gonna put it in here and you watch how beautifully this thing is going to rise for us. It's gonna be twice its size when we're done. This needs to be covered. We'll be back to check on it. I don't know how long any of this actually took. A little less than an hour or a little more. This little ball completely filled that bowl. And this ball was exactly the same size. It's not as high as that one. This is a wider bowl, but it completely filled this bowl. I think that each of these are almost two and a half times or more, as big as they were before they rose. So these doughs, they rose just beautifully. And that feels so good. And it smells really, really good.